whether you're somebody that eats breakfast first thing in the morning or not, you're gonna wanna watch this video because at some point you're gonna be having the first meal of the day. And today I'm sharing with you guys five easy keto breakfast ideas that you can meal prep. In fact, we're gonna be making enough keto breakfast in one day to last the entire week, maybe even two weeks. These are all easy keto breakfasts that you can prep up once and grab and go the rest of the week. So if you're running late to work or school, you just grab it, head out the door, have it on your way to work or once you get there. But before we get started on these awesome keto meal prep ideas, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new recipe. The first keto breakfast idea is not actually something you have to make up at all. It's something that's already made for you, and that's the Keto Bars by Love Good Fats, which is today's sponsor of this video. Love Good Fats are ridiculously delicious. I love their bars. They are made with clean, keto-friendly ingredients. They're high in healthy fats. They have fiber in them. They're low in carbs. And I love them because they're gonna crush any sort of sweet craving that I have. Plus, it's gonna keep me full till my next meal because they're loaded with good, healthy fats. And the best part is, I think, is that they're portable. So it's a great option to take with you when you're on the go and you wanna have your first meal. Love Good Fats has lots of different flavors to choose from. Just check out their website. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But they have a lot of different types of bars from like their more truffle based bars, like a chocolate chip cookie dough, which is really good. They even have a lemon one, which is really good cold. It offers such a different texture. And it's really like a, a I even freeze them sometimes too. It's like a frozen treat. But they also have these chewy nutty bars. And my favorite is the dark chocolate sea salt salt almond one, it's so good. They even have plant-based options too, which is great if you're vegan or vegetarian. Plus they have shakes. They have a chocolate shake and a vanilla shake, and they have high healthy fats in them and protein to help keep you full. And I've even used their shakes in a couple of different recipes. I'll have this video up here. It's my avocado video, but I used their shake to help make a creamy chocolate avocado pudding that was filled with lots of healthy fats and protein. And I'll have a discount code below for you guys if you wanna save 20% off and you're interested in trying the Love Good Fats line of products and help support our sponsor for today. The next easy keto breakfast recipe that you can meal prep that I'm gonna share with you today are keto egg bites made in the Instant Pot. Now you've probably already had Starbucks famous sous vide egg bites, they're so good, but unfortunately they're kind of higher in carbs. At least I think they are. I think when I last checked, I think they were like nine grams of carbs for the whole thing, which it's like half your daily carb allotment. So I've decided to start making them in the Instant Pot and it's super easy to do and actually kind of fun to make because you can get creative with the things that you put in the filling. Now to make this recipe, you will need an Instant Pot and you will need an egg bite mold. And I picked up this mold from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below on which one I use and where you can purchase it. These egg bites, I'm just gonna be filling with some cooked bacon, but like I said, feel free to experiment and add different combinations of flavors in there. And for a super easy option, I like to either use pre-cooked bacon or bacon that I can easily just pop in the microwave like this one here. It just takes a couple minutes to cook up and crisp. You wanna slice up your bacon into finely chopped pieces, and then we're gonna add it into our egg mold. Make sure you grease down your egg mold first just so that the egg mixture doesn't stick to it. Add in your bacon, and now it's time to make up our cheesy egg mixture. I like to use a blender or a food processor just because it gets everything pulsed up together nicely and smooth so you don't have chunks of cheese or anything like that in there. We're gonna add in five eggs. half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, one third cup of cream cheese that's softened, one tablespoon of cottage cheese. Try to find cottage cheese that is the highest fat percentage. I think the one that's highest fat percentage is 4% cottage cheese. And two ounces of cheese. I'm gonna be using grayer cheese. 
I don't know if I pronounced that right. I probably didn't and you guys are gonna let me know, but you don't have to use that type of cheese if you don't want to. Parmesan cheese works really good here. I've heard people even using cheddar cheese. So add that to your blender. We're gonna blend everything up until it's smooth. And then you're just gonna pour it into the silicone molds. You wanna leave a little bit of space up at the top, like maybe a centimeter or half a centimeter, just cause it will kinda uh, rise a little bit and you just don't wanna risk spilling when you place the silicone mold down into the liner of your Instant Pot. So to cook these in our Instant Pot, you wanna put down the Trevit down below cause that's where our silicone mold is gonna sit. And then we're gonna add a cup of water into the liner of the Instant Pot. Add in your mold, and then we're gonna steam cook these. Now, you could even pressure cook them, and I'll have some numbers look, linked down below, but I like to steam them because it really gives them that sous vide texture where it's just nice and creamy when you bite down into it. So steam them for around 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then release the rest of the pressure. If you take them out and you notice that your egg bites still aren't cooked all the way through, maybe the outside, is solidified but the inside's still a little liquidy, then just put them back in the Instant Pot, hit the steam again for another five minutes and just continue to do that until they're cooked all the way through. Now these egg bites, you can actually place two trays in at a time when you're cooking them. So if you're really trying to prep up for the whole family or maybe you're trying to prep up because uh, you want to have like two egg bites a day and you want this to last the whole week, then definitely double this recipe and make two silicone trays. And they'll just stack up on top of each other and it doesn't require any additional cooking time. I like to store these in the silicone mold that they come in and just put them in the refrigerator and then when I want some breakfast, take one out. I usually have two in the morning just because two of them is like 1.8 net carbs, so really fits well into the macros. Next up, we're gonna be making a lemon blueberry chia pudding. Actually, it doesn't really have to be this flavor combination. You could really go with whatever sort of fruits that you want to in this recipe. I even have a strawberries and cream chia pudding recipe that I'll have linked down below for you, or you could click this video up here because I did do a video on it. So I like the combination though of a lemon and blueberry. It's so good together, and this recipe is easy to make. I not only eat this for breakfast, but sometimes I'll have it just as like an afternoon snack or just like I even have it for dinner sometimes when I'm really not that hungry but want something sweet. Now the recipe I have listed down below and on my website is just for one serving, so you're making one chia pudding, but I'm actually, for the sake of this video, gonna quadruple the recipe because I wanna make enough for the whole family. I have four small meal prep containers here and to each of them you're gonna add half of a cup of either nut milk or heavy cream. I like to use macadamia nut milk just because it's a little bit higher in fat but very, very low in carbs. And then you'll also add two tablespoons of chia seeds to each one along with one teaspoon of lemon zest. Stir that together until it's mixed, cover them, and then we're gonna pop them in the refrigerator overnight. Now, I know I said that we're gonna make this in one day, so if you didn't wanna do that step and you wanna make everything all together in one day, then instead of putting them individually in their containers, just put everything, quadruple this recipe, so it'd be like two cups of nut milk, um, a half of a cup of chia seeds, and a tablespoon and one teaspoon of lemon zest. Add that all into a blender, blend it up. This is gonna break up those chia seeds and release all of that gel factor that it has. And so it's gonna form a pudding-like consistency really quickly. And then next, I like to make a blueberry sauce. And the sauce is easy. All you do is just add some blueberries. So I'm gonna actually use a cup of blueberries. Put that in a saucepan and then we're gonna add in some water. This will help get it to make like a syrupy consistency. Cook it over medium heat until your blueberries start to burst, and then you're just gonna simmer it until it forms a syrup. And then evenly pour that on top of your chia puddings, and this recipe is done. Mm -hmm. 
Up next, we're gonna be making some keto sausage cheddar biscuits. And the best thing about this recipe, not only is it easy to meal prep, but it's actually freezable. So you can make up a huge batch of it and then store it in the refrigerator. And then when you have to make breakfast in the morning for your kids and you don't know what to make them and you're running late, this is the recipe that you can do because you take them out from the freezer, wrap it in a paper towel, pop it in the microwave for around 45 seconds or a minute and it's done. It's perfect, just like it was fresh out of the oven. To make this recipe, we're gonna whisk together four eggs, along with five tablespoons of melted butter, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of softened cream cheese. Then we're gonna add in a third cup of coconut flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and then we're gonna add in a pound of cooked sausage. So a meal prep tip here would be to cook up your sausage maybe while your egg bites are steaming or that blueberry sauce from your chia pudding is reducing. You could be tending to your sausage and cooking that up. You'll also need two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. Mix this together until everything is evenly combined. And I like to take a cookie scoop and scoop some of the mixture onto a parchment lined baking tray. We're gonna bake this in a 375 degree oven for around 15 minutes. Once they're finished baking, you can either let them cool on the tray or transfer it to a wire rack. And then to freeze, just put it inside a freezer safe bag and store it in the freezer. The next recipe that we're gonna be making is keto pancake pies. This is also a great recipe to meal prep and it's something that's also can go in the freezer. So it's freezer safe. You guys might've seen this video already. I did for Chalk Zero. I showed you guys how to make these keto pancake pies. They are so fun and they're delicious too. Now, of course, to make these, you will need a pie maker. So I got a little mini pie maker. I'll have it linked down below. I purchased it from Amazon if you guys are interested and buying these. Um, if you don't want to invest in a, in a pie maker, you could try just to put them in muffin tins and bake them in the oven. It's just going to take a little bit longer to cook or um, just do it on the stovetop too in a skillet. Make the pancake, add a little thing of sausage, fl uh, uh, flip it over and you'll have a little pancake with some sausage in it. So to make this, we're gonna start with my basic cream cheese blender pancake recipe. I'll have it linked up here for you guys if you wanna see how to make these easy, delicious pancakes. I have such good reviews on this recipe. Everyone loves it that makes it. But the great thing is, is that everything is made in a blender and then you just pour it out to make your pancakes. So in a blender, we're gonna add eight ounces of softened cream cheese, four eggs, half a cup of coconut flour, a quarter cup of monk fruit blend sweetener. My favorite is Lakanto, but you could use whatever brand you wanna use. A half a cup of heavy cream, or you could use a nut milk. A lot of times I just like to use macadamia nut milk. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And we're gonna blend this together until the cream cheese is broken up and the whole mixture is smooth. Now using our pie maker, we're gonna spray this down with cooking spray, and then to each little cavity, pour in some of your pancake mixture. And then I like to use pre-cooked sausage patties, but you could also use bacon too. Just stuff these with some bacon. So add a little patty to each of them. You could top it off with a little bit more pancake mixture, close it and let it cook. It'll take around five minutes for these to finish cooking. And once you do, you pop them out, let them cool completely, and then put them in a freezer safe bag and store them in the freezer until you wanna have them. And similar to the keto sausage cheddar biscuits, to have to unthaw these and cook these up from frozen, you just take them out, wrap them in a paper towel, put them in the microwave for around 45, 60 seconds. My kids love these. They are so fun and they're delicious topped with some sugar-free syrup. So that concludes our keto breakfast meal prep. I hope you guys enjoy these five easy keto breakfast recipes that you guys can make. Let me know down in the comments if you have other ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post more videos.